Hey, how's it going? David Taub here with Epic Guitar Instruction. Hope all's going well, and I hope your guitar and musical journeys are going famously. Today you're going to learn the song Brick by Ben Folds 5, and this is from their 1997 album, Whatever and Ever, Amen. And we're going to do like a one guitar version incorporating strumming and picking where we're going to kind of replicate that piano sound. Now the song's in standard A440 tuning, so go ahead and tune your guitars low to high, E, A, D, G, B, and E. The song's in the key of D major and it's moderately slow, about 97 beats per minute. And I got the piano transcribed for guitar and it's pretty close and it'll incorporate both. We'll do some picking and arpeggiating and I'll show you those patterns. And then also we'll do some strumming to make it sound full because we don't have the full instrumentation of a full band, it's just one guitar, so you want it to sound nice and full. Let's first go over the chords you're going to need to play the song. You're going to need a D major chord, and then you're going to take off that second finger, making it a D sus2 or D suspended second. And then you're going to take that um, second finger and play the third fret of the low E string, that G note, because we're going to play a D sus2 with a G in the bass, or D sus2 over G. You're also going to need a B minor chord. E major, you need an E7, and you can just take your third finger off E major and you have your E7. And you're also going to need an E7 sus4 chord, which you can play like that. You're going to need G major, and A major, and then you're going to need this little D major 9 chord. And we'll play that on the second fret with your first and second fingers. Um, on the, the B and the G, open D, open high E, D major 9, don't play the lower E of the A string, and that's all the chords in the song. Now if you're having some trouble going from chord to chord and switching chords, um, you know, I could really help you with that. Click on the link in the YouTube description box below and I'll send you a killer free video lesson. It's extended play, it's not on YouTube, and it has my essential chord changing technique skills. Um, it's packed with technique tips and exercises that'll really get your chord playing and changing blasted to the next level. It's a killer video lesson and I'll pair it with an ebook, which in the ebook there's more chord charts, more lessons, more exercises. Killer one-two punch, it'll really help you along in your guitar journey. I'll send them both to you for free, just click on that link below. Okay, so the song starts with that intro. After Christmas, I throw some clothes on in the dark when verse one. When I want you to think of the intro in two different parts, okay? Um, and he repeats the first part of the intro three times, then the second part of the intro, and then he goes right into the verse one, which is 6 a.m. day after Christmas. And what we're gonna do is we'll pick the intro and arpeggiate it, and I'll tab it out for you, but then when it goes into the verses, we're going to start strumming it to make it sound nice and full, okay? So, here is the first part of the intro. I'll just play it once. I'll do it a little slower. Okay, and he does that three times, all right? So let's get that down first. Hold the D chord, and then you're going to play together the D string and the high E string. Pluff those two strings together, then go right down the strings, G, B, high E string while holding the D chord and then go back to the G string. So you get this. Then lift off your first finger so you're kind of playing like that D sus2 chord, right? So you lift off that first finger and then hit the G string and B string again. So that's the first, uh, first part on the D chord sounds like this. Then what you're going to do is you add your second finger to that low E string at the third fret because you want to play that uh, D sus2 uh, over G chord, right? And you're going to play the low E string and the high E string together and then go right down starting with the G string again while holding that chord. You don't have to move. It's only that one movement from the D chord to the D sus2, taking off the finger and then you move that um, second finger up to the D sus2 over G, otherwise the first and third finger stay down the whole time. So on the G sus2 over D, the pattern is high E and low E, then G string, B string, high E string, B string, G string, B string, 
high E string. So you just go down, up, and down in exact order. So slowly on that D uh, sus2 over G. All right, and that's the that's it on that chord. So the first two chords together you play three times. So let me play it one slow. It'll sound like this. Okay, and you can see on the tab, you're kind of going straight, either down the string, straight up the strings, picking each note. So it's not as hard as it seems. And that, you repeat that three times. And then later in the song, in between, um, like the chorus and verse three, he plays that intro again. And then later in the song, he plays the intro again, but he doesn't play the whole intro. He just does the D, D sus2, the, the D sus2 over G part. So the second part of the intro, and he only does this one time, you go to the B minor chord, and then we're going to go to that E7 sus4 to the E7 chord. And, uh, and then he only does that once, and then it goes right into verse one. So let me play that second part slow. It'll sound like this. All right, so the second part, you voice the B minor chord, but you're gonna pick the A string and the high E string together. Then go right down again, G string, B string, high E string, then back to the G string, then lift off the bar with your first finger because you gotta play that open, it's the only tricky part, high E string, third fret, and then the, you get that third fret, you leave that uh, second finger down, third fret of the B string. So slow on the B minor chord. Okay, so after the B minor chord, you're gonna go to this E7 sus4, and you're gonna play this. Okay, so I finger with my second and fourth finger, and you play that open low E string and the second fret on the G string. You play those together, then go B, high E, then switch your second finger, do your first finger at the first fret, and you play those that string with the low E. So it's low E and that G string at the first fret, and then again, B string high E. So you get this. And then you go back, put that second finger back down on the G string, and you play G string, B string. So that slow on the E7 sus4, starting with that, sound like this. Then E7, and then back. Okay? So if I do that whole thing together, first part and second part slow, it'll sound like this just the last time, one time. Okay, so that's all you have to think of that intro. Just think of it in two parts. You play the first part three times, and the second part, the B minor and the E7, so it's four to E7 once, and then right into the first verse. And if you could do me a huge favor, please subscribe to the channel. You know, subscribing to the channel, that really helps us to keep the content coming in. Ring that subscription bell, because then you'll be notified when we have new lessons posted. Also, leave us a comment below. Let us know how you like this lesson. Let us know what lessons you'd like to see in the future. And if you like this video, please click the like button. Give it a thumbs up, share it, and thank you so much for your support. Then I'm gonna start strumming it now with that first verse. I mean, you could do that same picking pattern, but we're gonna do the strumming to make it sound more full. Let me play the first verse, and then I'll go back and explain. It'll sound like this. In fact, the intro twice. We'll strum it. Second verse, up the stairs. Okay, so what we're gonna do when we get to the strumming parts, we'll use a strum pattern like this. Down, down, up, up, down, up. Eighth notes. One and two and three and four and two and two and three and four and down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. And that'll 
work for most of the song in the strumming parts. Uh, we'll shorten it uh, a little bit in the pre-chorus, but the verses are the same. Uh, there's three verses in the song. Um, the only difference is after the first one, he plays like that intro, the D, D sus 2, D sus 2 over G twice, and then goes into the second verse, just to separate that first and second verse. But basically, it's um, D, 6 a.m., G, day after Christmas, D, I throw some clothes on, G, in the dark, D, the smell of cold, G, the car seat is freezing, D, the world is sleeping, I am G. Then he plays the intro. It's basically D, D, so Stu and G. Okay, and then he's basically just going D to G, D to G, uh, four times. Or you could do it like we did before. But I like to strum it using that D, D sus two, back to D, G. Get that feel. Verse two, up the stairs, G to her apartment, D. She is walled up, G. On the couch, same thing, D, her mom and dad, G, went down to Charlotte, D, they're not home, G, to find us out, pre-chorus, that's when it gets higher, when he goes into the pre-chorus. So the pre-chorus is the and we drive part, let me play it for you, it'll sound like this. that's when it goes into the actual chorus. Okay, so the pre-chorus, um, we're gonna use basically that same strum pattern until we get to the last chord. We'll have to break it up a little bit. But basically it's B minor, and we G drive. Same thing, B minor. Now that G, I have found someone. D, I'm feeling more alone. G, then I B minor ever had. Before. Okay, now the before, you're going to go to that um, E7 sus4 to E7. And the way that I do that change is I go down, down on the E7 sus4, same strum pattern, and then go to E7, up, up, down. Okay, so it's like... So that last line, D, feeling more G alone. Then I, B minor, here's a split strum. into the chorus. Now the chorus of the song, she's a brick and I'm drowning slowly. Let me play the chorus, it'll sound like this. We'll split the strum a little bit. I'll go back and explain it to you, but here's how it'll sound. What it goes back into back into that intro for tw two times. Okay, so the chorus is basically we're gonna do down, down, up strum along with the down, down, up, up, down, up. So the down, down, up, down, down, up, down, 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 down. Okay, so G. She's a A brick down down up then you go to that D major 9 for a full strum down down up up down up. okay so it's she's a brick and I'm drowning slowly then you repeat it off the coast and I'm heading nowhere repeat it again she's a brick and I'm drowning slowly now in between the chorus and the intro before verse three, we're gonna do it like this. You let that D ring. So all I'm doing there is I'm doing two downs on a G, two downs on an A, and then one down G, one down D. And then you let that ring, and then it goes back. 
back to the intro. And on the intro, he does the D, D sus 2, and then the D sus 2 over G just twice, and then it goes into verse 3. So verse 3 is basically the same D to G changes. Uh, they call her name at 7.30 at Pace Around the Parking Lot, right? That goes into another pre-chorus. Can't you see? Uh, it's not me you're dying for. Now she's feeling more alone than I ever had before. That's the same pre-chorus as I showed you earlier. That goes into another chorus. Uh, she's a brick and she's drowning slowly. So after that second chorus, it goes right into the interlude. Let me play the interlude, then I'll go back and explain it. And I'm kind of getting close to what he's doing on the piano. It'll sound like this. Bridge, and then it goes into the bridge. As weeks went by. Okay, so for the interlude, you were gonna do G with a down, up, down strum. You end on that down on A, up, down, up. Then you end on up, so G, down, up, down. A, up, down. Then do D or D over F sharp, whatever one you could do. Up, down. Then uh, down, up, down on the G. And then up on the D. Okay, so that'll sound like this slow. And then the next part, G, down, up, down, A, up, down, up, G, down, up, down, A, up, down, D or D over F sharp, down, G, down, let ring, into the bridge section. Second part, slow. That goes right into the bridge section. As weeks went by, it showed that she was not fine. Let me play you the bridge, it'll sound like this. Right after that, it goes back to that intro. And you do that intro again two times, just like we did before, which goes into verse four, driving back to her apartment. All right, so the bridge section, you could do that same down, down, up, up, down, up, strum for most of it, so it's E, as weeks went by is G. It showed that she, E, G, and D, and you basically do that E, G, D three times. By it showed that she on the D. Back to E, they told me, G, son, it's time to D. Tell the truth and E. She broke down and G, I broke down D. Cause I was E7 tired. G, left ring of line. Okay, so the only difference on that strum, that last line, E, she broke down G, I broke down D. Cause I was tired. I'm tired to go to E7 and I just do straight eighth notes all down strokes. One and two and three and four and four. Down, 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 down. G, iron, one hit. Uh, of lying and you let that ring and that goes right back into that intro again uh, two times into verse four. So verse four, uh, driving back to her apartment for the moment we're alone, it's the same as the other verse, it's just that D to G change uh, four times and that goes actually into the final chorus. She's a brick and I'm drowning slowly. And the only difference this time is at the end of the chorus, he kind of plays those same changes he did the first part of the interlude. And he lets that last D chord ring out and the song end. So let me play you the last chorus. It'll sound like this, right? There's a She's a Brick. And that's how it 
how the song ends, okay? So it's basically G, she's a brick, A, and that strum is that down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up on the D major 9. G, A, drowning slowly. Again, G off the coast, and I'm heading nowhere. G, she's a brick, and I'm drowned, D major 9. Okay, then play the first part of we did in the interlude. G, down, up, down, A, up, down, up, G, down, up, down, A, up, down, uh, uh, up, down on the D or D over F sharp, down, up, down on the G, down, uh, actually you do an upstroke on that last D chord and let it ring. So that last line of the chorus, final chorus, is a brick. song ends. That's Brick by Ben Folds 5. Really fun song to play on guitar. Hope you enjoyed that one. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel because that really helps us keep bringing the content. Ring that subscription bell, then you'll be notified when we have new lessons posted. Also, click on that link in the YouTube description box below. Get my killer free video lesson and ebook, Essential Chord Changing Tips, Techniques, Exercises. It's killer. Thank you so much for watching this lesson and thank you so much for your support over the years and years. So appreciate it. Hey, stay tuned. Got tons more killer lessons and content coming. So be sure to stay tuned, keep checking back, and hey, remember, your guitar playing is an evolution. So enjoy the journey. Keep up all that hard work on those guitars. Keep rocking. We'll see you soon.